I would like to now welcome on stage the winner of Best Editing for Vice, Hank Corwin. Please come on up. <clears throat> yeah, she's there. Thank you. I, I wish I were taller. <laughs> uh, congratulations. I Thank mean, you. what a fantastic achievement. Obviously, you have to work very, very closely with Adam McKay during the editing process. Do you two have a similar way of working? Do you have any sort of headbutting moments during the process? Yeah, no, I, I work. He just sort of lounges around on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> no, Adam is really involved. Uh-huh. Yeah, he... Uh, we, we, you know, we discuss, it, it becomes like a Socratic uh, university. We just sort of discuss things, we discuss options. He gives me lots of coverage, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, I, uh, I just do it. You've worked with him before as yeah, well. Yeah, The Big Short. The Big Short. Yeah. So how did, that, how did working on that film sort of inform the way that you worked together on well, this? Well, you know, I've never worked on a comedy. I've, oh. I've uh, you know, I mean, I... If they, the sullen movies that don't make money, that's me. You know, and I'll work for like Terrence Malick for a year and a half. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we just, we just sort of hit it off. Mm -hmm. like, often editing is something that perhaps can go a bit under the radar or, or a bit unnoticed. So what does it feel like to be recognized for it's it? It's surreal. Yeah? It, you know, because editors, this is not necessarily a healthy place for an editor to be. Uh, but it's fantastic. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you know, because it, 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 it's better sometimes to just be totally anonymous and just and live inhabit the world you're cutting mm -hmm. and not be, you know. I remember seeing uh, uh, Christian Bale and Amy Adams uh, at a QA and a mm. when they were themselves, and all of a sudden it's like the Cheneys are gone and there's this weird guy with a Welsh accent. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I dealt with. Was there one particular scene that was challenging to edit that you struggled with? You know, it was the whole. It, it was more of the flow of the film was tough. Mm -hmm. The scenes themselves were fairly, you know, they were fairly straightforward for me. But just getting the balance right, mm -hmm. getting the humanity in with the, all the facts, was what was tough. Um, I'd like to open it up to the audience. Anybody got any questions? No questions. Sorry, <laughs> not yet. Um. What is your favourite bit that you've edited in this film? Because obviously it's a film that plays with what we see on screen a lot and chops and changes and everything. So what's the thing that you're most proud of from your work? You know, this is not even necessarily a, 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 a great piece of editing, but it's going from... <laughs> no, um. <laughs> no, but it's going from, uh, from where you have Colin Powell speaking to the United Nations, and he's saying this is... This is truly one of the darkest moments in his life, right to the Cheney family, where you, where you had uh, Dick Cheney as the doting grandfather, and they're discussing the relative merits of uh, American Idol. You've got British Idol, uh, Idol which is pretty awful. Uh, and, uh, and just the flow, going, and then going to the rockets, going into Iraq. I mean, that was what was, very rewarding, but it's the kind of thing that nobody'd know. And I've never talked about it. Anything else? Do you have a question? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I saw um, Adam McKay uh, in a Q&A say, well, if you hang, hire Hank Corwin, you know what you're going to get. Uh, do you, do you, That's do bullshit. You, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, but do you think that you um, are somebody that people go to look to if they're looking for this sort of kinetic, very fast editing, or do, or, or do you find them? You know, it's because I've, uh, throughout my career, I've been sort of tagged this way, and it's, I, it's, you know, you, what do they say? Horses for courses, but, oh, that's actually not what they, what, that's not what I mean. <laughs> it's, you know, it's like a, a good editor should be able to cut the flow of any film. You know, when I cut Tree of Life, it, it wasn't exactly frenetic. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Thank Thanks you. guys. Thank you so much. Congratulations again.